welcome back to my channel. This is the first video of many that I will be making over the course of the next few days. And as you can see from the title, this video is about how to keep God first while traveling abroad. Um, I am currently in Dubai. Um, I will be out here for a week. And before leaving my home of New Orleans, that was one question that I had is how does a believer when the world can get so distracting, when the world can get so fun and exciting, how do you keep God first in a life that looks like you don't really need God right now? Everything's going good. I'm about to go out of the country. I'm going on vacation. I'm going to have fun. God, I don't really need to pray so often like I did when I was going through that thing. I don't need to read my Bible every night because, hey, I'm going on vacation, right? But no, God should be first, even when you're not at home, even when you're in wherever it is in the world where you may be, Jamaica, on a cruise, how do you keep God first? And my answer to that question is make time the same way you keep him first when you're going through dark areas and dark times in your life. You make time for him. You make time for that presence. You make time to sit and talk with him and guys something I struggled with for a very long time was feeling like um just the religious pressure that okay when I do bible study it has to be for a long time and I have to read scripture I have to do this and I have to time with your father can look like whatever it needs to look like it is almost 3 a.m and I woke up because, you know, I'm in a different country. My sleep is kind of off. And I woke up and I'm like, you know what? It started as a thought. I was like, I should probably read my Bible or pray. And I was scrolling on TikTok. And a video popped up on TikTok. It was really funny. And it was basically just saying, you know, when the Holy Spirit tells us to, you know, spend time with God. And we say, but what if I don't? But why would I? And then you know, things start happening and it's like, okay, okay, let me run to God. You run to him when things start happening, but it's like, spend time with your father, not because it's a chore, not because, okay, let me just go and get this over with. No, spend time with him because have an awareness that you will always need him. Whether you're home or whether you're halfway across the world like I am, you will always need him. And although I am a solo traveler I'm out here in Dubai literally across the globe by myself but I'm not because Jesus is with me the Lord is with me every present moment every second and y'all I don't do good with sleeping in places that I'm not familiar with but when I tell you I have so much peace I'm not afraid the Lord is always with you. Show him that time. Give him that attention. I turned on my little piano worship and I prayed. And what does my prayer look like? Just talking. Just talking to God. Telling him my worries. Telling him my concerns. Telling him how much I need him. And that was my time with the Lord. And that is going to be how it looks as I embark on the next couple days, just speaking to him, opening my Bible, looking for a verse that resonates with what I'm going through. There will never be a time where you don't need God, ever. So yes, on vacation, you need him. At home, you need him. At school, you need him. At work, you need him. Y'all, I'm sorry for crying, but that's how God works. Literally, his presence, the truth of who he is, it should bring you to tears. The truth of who he is should prompt you to sit in his presence. This is, I guess, a kind of serious video considering I'm like, what are you crying? But y'all, Look forward to vlogs. I'm going to be vlogging my time here in Dubai. I have so many things planned, so many excursions, and I'm so excited. 
but I just wanted to make this video about how do I make time well it seems really obvious how how do you make time for God while traveling internationally but it's a real question how do you make time when the Holy Spirit prompts you you listen that's it you're laying in bed you don't have nothing else to do, but you have a thought that says, hey, read your Bible. Hey, pray. Hey, spend time with God. Whatever that looks like for you, be obedient. That's it. And I promise you, it's worth it. I promise you, that little moment that you take out to give him some glory, to, and to acknowledge his existence, will be so worth it. So I hope this encourages y'all. I'm sorry I'm over here looking a mess. Like, I'm so tired of looking a mess on social media. I really am. But I promise y'all, I'm, like, counting down until I can get dressed, do my hair, do my makeup, put on my outfits. Y'all, I got some plans out here in Dubai, okay? But nonetheless, I hope y'all be blessed. And know that God has you where he has you for a reason. And that's a word for somebody. God has you where he has you for a reason point blank period so on that note <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm about to finish listening to my little worship probably about to do a little worship and that's on period and i'm gonna wake up i'm gonna get cute put on my little dress put on my little whatever i'm gonna wear my little lip my little makeup my little earrings <laughs> and we're gonna conquer this day as y'all can tell from my voice i'm a little i might even go claim that i might even sick i just have congestion but you know the little the nasal headache and all that but i said god heal me and if you don't heal me give me the strength and the energy and the endurance to like really tackle these days as much as i can with everything i have so yeah y'all we're gonna have some fun and stay tuned for vlogs this is my i like to call it my second solo trip because i've been to japan and now I'm in Dubai. But you know what? I wasn't saved. I was a teenager. When I went to Japan, it was many, many years ago. So I'm going to say this is my first international trip. And I'm here in Dubai. And I'm going to tear this city up. And that's so period. So yeah, y'all. Stay tuned for more videos from me because they will be coming out. Let me know what y'all want to see in the comment sections below. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm your average girl, but traveling is something I want to do, so that's what I did. So, yeah. All right. I love y'all, and I will see y'all soon.